So welcome to another Java programming tutorial and in this tutorial I'm showing you how to use a for loop and what a for loop does is it basically um, is pretty much like a simplified loop so it, most of it is on one line so you will see when we get there so to create a for loop we just type the word for then we put brackets and then curly brackets and then in here what we're going to do is declare a variable and we're going to call it counter and set it equal to zero then put semicolon and then after that we put counter um, is less than uh, 50 for example so and then after that we do counter plus plus so what is happening here is this is just declaring our counter this is just telling us when it's going to run when it's going to actually run the loop and when it's going to stop so when it's less than 50 it'll be running and then it'll stop if it's not less than 50 and then this is pretty much telling us that you need to increment the counter um, by a 1 and then inside your actual code block uh, what you do is system dot out dot print ln Bracket semicolon, and then in here, the counter is at, and then plus um, counter. Just simple like that. So let's just run that. Oops. Okay. Now, if you have a look here, you see it goes all the way from zero to forty-nine. And the reason being, um, as I said before in one of the previous loop tutorials, is because 50 is not less than 50. We could do less than or equal to 50, and that should work if we run it. Yep, you see it goes from 50 to 0. And that's pretty much it with for loops. Now, for loops might not look particularly useful right now, but um, trust me, they're, they're pretty useful to use in the future. So thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.